Hello. Hi guys. Hello. Michelle. Say hi Michelle. Say hi to everybody. So can you wave hi? Say hi. <laughs> hey. Hi. How you doing? Oh, that's a camera. That's a camera. It's a wood. Uh huh. Well, guys, this is a normal update here. Uh, in between update, I've been trimming tree branches. I'm going to drag them off to the mulcher. I'm going to pull in the chairs and put them up for the winter and take our little end tables and split them on the log splitter. I'll let them cure as firewood. Over here, I've cleaned up all the wood that was all over the ground. I cleaned up the whole wood pile, the oak that had fallen over. And I got everything stacked. Now I just am running, 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 running. The reason I'm not doing a lot of daily, normal daily life videos, and you're not seeing me do this type of stuff, is because it's been raining a lot. And so I usually work in the rain, and I don't. My camera doesn't like the rain, and I'm just really on the go, um, full blast, almost running from place to place these days. And it's just between working off the property uh, where I'm, where I have been, and hauling the firewood home that I have been doing, and trying to run my businesses on the side, including YouTube. I'm really, really putting in some long hours. So, I don't know if I showed you. I don't even think I did. I brought home some 4x4s that if they're not usable, they're definitely going to be firewood. So, I'm going to let them dry out and see what status of de de decomposition they're in. But hey, if nothing else, they're perfect logs, right? So, I brought them home. Uh, this was what was left from what I didn't pick out and choose to save for building materials and as an afterthought I'm like you know what I can burn that that's log size I've got two stacks of mixed hard and soft woods most, mostly soft woods but I've got two large stacks of wood to be split next to the log splitter so I just barely have room to crawl in there and work so uh, I just decided, because I've been really running so fast and so much these days, hauling stuff, I've been doing two to three loads of firewood each day, bringing it home, and then um, hauling it away and stacking it as I can, and then all my other work. So, you know, I was disappointed when I brought home the log splitter and I thought, I'm not going to get to run this very much. It's so efficient and so fast. And now I'm like, wow, I'm happy I have this thing because I'm running it a lot. So that's all firewood to be split. You may have noticed over here is a lot of little stuff, which is going to be used for the wood shop. I'll um, probably hit them with a splitting maul. And those will be firewood for the heating the wood shop, the off-grid wood shop. Over here I've got been using my utility trailer around the yard a lot with the hitch on my car I can haul this all over so I hauled the logs over here I brought home some logs and uh, these are going to be processed on the mill now some of them are a little bit longer and some are not. This was just some stuff I decided to keep um, for some projects. The mill itself needs new 4x4s and there's uh, some good thickness to some of these logs here. They're not very long but I'll at least be able to get some lumber out of them and then I'll be able to use some of that for like table legs. So I'm probably going to get as big a piece as I can out of these, um, you know, once I make it square, and then figure out from there what I'm going to do with the wood. There's a bigger one that uh, the cat is on at this time. That's about an 8 footer or so, which is going to be convenient for actual lumber. Not really big. The big, big, big ones, I still have to find a way to get home. And there's a piece of oak that is hollowed out. 
and I'm thinking about making it's not very big diameter it's about 10 inches but if I might come up with an idea to use rosin to fill it and make something out of it I don't know I'll figure that out but I figure if I take slices off of it but anyway that was uh, something I figured I'd experiment with so yeah I've just been hauling split and stacking hauling split and stacking I ran the log splitter again the other day and hauled and processed all that firewood uh, without even sharing on camera with you I just it's just been so much so much to do so um, I'm just trying to knock it out and keep things going here all right well guys this is just a little update seriously that's all I'm doing anymore I'm running working off the property hauling firewood processing firewood I mean that's it that's all I'm doing anymore these days and just constantly on the go so that's it there's my update let's try from the do-it-yourself world and the off-grid project processing firewood for days and days and days this year please like subscribe and share and follow our daily videos as we strive to become fully self-sufficient and off the grid on a budget and with this much firewood we're a good share or a good part on our way to having firewood to get us through the entire year for our off-grid tiny house Talk to you later.